it's absolutely necessary, given that all of the parties have constituencies, that we find a mode of governance that will allow all of these parties and their constituents to feel comfortable in that sort of governance structure. And um, it's essential for a country to achieve its promise, especially with oil and gas coming to um, soon. So, uh, are you are you interested in, in a governance arrangement that would include the PPP going ahead in the months before elections? Um, no, um, we're not talking about a caretaker government. We're talking about what happens in the post-election period. That is what I intended. Um, but right now, no, no part of a caretaker government. We don't have time for that. The Constitution imposes a deadline on us, 90 days to hold elections. We will stick with that deadline. We have already indicated to the international community that should that deadline expire um, without elections being held, then we will view the government as illegal, illegitimate, and unconstitutional. Article, um, the Article 7 that discusses what happens after elections says that a new government has to come in place before the current government resigns, at least the swearing of a new president. What is your insistence that this government resigns now? But you, Neil, you conveniently use 1067, but 1066 says upon the passage of a no confidence. But 1077 says the time when yes, they should resign. One upon the passage that the government shall, shall resign. So we see that as um, a caretaker responsibility thereafter and that the, the portfolio, which is, we believe, to prepare for elections and to ensure the routine functions of government, is given to the government and the ministers and the cabinet, not by virtue of the gazetted orders, which give them the portfolios, but by virtue of 1067. So, that allows them to stay on in office in this period in a caretaker capacity. So that, that is how we read 1067. The court action that was filed last Friday, do you see that as the government buying time? They are trying to buy time. They're desperately trying to hang on to power. Um, and th this is try can throw the country into a constitutional crisis. I don't think they care. We believe that we can trace large sums of money that they have stashed away in a very short period of time. And I think that fear is driving a lot of them to cling on to power at any cost. Uh, reasonably, do you think GCOM is prepared for elections in three months? You have three commissioners on, on the commission. What do they the say? The commissioners, I met with, with the commissioners today, and they said to me, yes, uh, you see, the good thing is that GCOM just came out of an election. So they had a, lo a lot of the systems that are in place that were put in place for the local government elections could be built upon for the national elections. And so um, we believe they can be ready. Uh, the question is that I hope that the government does not try to influence GCOM to say that they are not ready and then they would claim, oh, GCOM is not ready, so we'll have to shift or lengthen the time in office. Thank you. If you can switch gears quickly. Uh, Wednesdays when the candidates present themselves, presidential candidate for the PPP, how soon after does a vote take place to decide on a candidate? Um, so we'll take two days, when, um, Thursday and Friday, actually, because Wednesday is the meeting with the president. Right. So Thursday and Friday we'll have the presentation from the five persons who have either indicated interest or have been nominated. And after the last person would have presented and been questioned by members of the EXCO, the CC, etc., then whether we can achieve a consensus candidate. And if you cannot achieve a consensus candidate, then most likely you'll have to go to voting. 
and it will be done by secret ballot. When that will happen, how soon after Friday, I can't say at this point in time. Okay. And tactically too, I've been told by many members of our executive that we should be ca a little bit cautious about, you know, too early announcement because they will, whoever that person is, any one of the five, they will try to pull them down, tear them down, give them, the, that's the nature of new politics. Um, even people that they say, say they like today would suddenly become en enemy number one because um, they will be our flag bearer. Mm, thank you very much. All right, you're welcome.